what's up guys today we are in the Aldwood Mall Linwood area we are about to try this new Korean restaurant which you see right in front of us there's no English translation but it's called Kolong Tang or something like that Korean barbecue let's go ahead and hit this up it's also right next to this Mizumi Ro and Izakaya first time trying it let's see how their Korean barbecue is Yeah, usually you're not worried about health benefits or you know going to the doctor or whatever. Yeah, like family But I wanted to no, 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 <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to J Ru Productions. So 10 of us from the gym decided to go to this Korean restaurant called Solon Tang. I believe it means beef soup in Korean. I'm not Korean, don't ask me. I think that's what it means. So it's my first time trying it. We went to celebrate Jonathan's going away dinner. The dude is moving back to New York. So if you're watching this, I'm going to give you a quick shout out, Jonathan, keep your head up. The dude can do 10 reps. I mean, he is known as the core king, the ab king at the gym. He can do 10 reps of the ab wheels with just the wheel and his toes touching the ground. I mean, full reps, man, clean. I don't think I can even do one rep, maybe one rep <laughs> at my best. The only other person I know that, that can do that was Jackie Chan in a movie. So big ups to you. Alright, so so long time was first time at that Korean barbecue joint. We decided to hit up the all you can eat buffet, which was like $20.99 per person. The sides were a little lacking because the ones that I'm used to that I like is like glass noodles, you know, the anchovy with honey walnut. Those two are my favorite, along with like seaweed and stuff like that. So it's pretty lacking. I mean, the salad had all these spices on there. It was all right tasting. But the other sides were basically very simple, like bean sprout, some bean curd, some chives, stuff like that. You know, kind of like on the lower end. And let's get to the beef part. I, I mean, the meat part. I believe we have four have four to choose from. It being pork, the beef brisket, the chicken, and also the pork belly, I believe. So we refill them maybe like three times of each, you know, 10 of us, five per table. The other table being a bigger eaters than our table because we had some skinny people on there. Hey, a big shout out to Slim Tim. You'll be watching this too. All right. So um, the food was pretty good. I'm just kind of disappointed by the sides. Overall, we ate a lot. Some of us ate a little bit too much that some of us didn't feel it so good the next day. So... The environment, the atmosphere was pretty nice, you know. It was right behind the Linwood Convention Center. Um, and the meat was marinated ahead of time. Pretty nice. But like I mentioned, the size was a little lacking. I think overall, I'm going to hook it up with a 82%. So if you guys are into Korean barbecue, all you can eat, go ahead and check it out. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review. You know Korean food is my favorite, so whenever you're in the area or you want to hit up the Korean barbecue, go check out Solon Tang and Jonathan. Whenever you get that video, 
send it to me and I'll share it with my subscribers of your ridiculous 10 reps of the ab wheels. Eat hard, work out harder, baby. Until next time.